it's Dan Veal here once again and you are tuned into Bass Gear Magazine. In this video review I am checking out the new Facelift Aguilar Optimizer pedal. This is an all analog octave divider. It brings some cool extra features that you might not necessarily see on other analog octave pedals. And I'm going to dial in some sound so you can hear exactly what it can do. It's an all metal shell with four simple controls, nice and clearly labelled. Inputs and outputs on the top are your standard quarter inch plugs and sockets. And we have the 2.1 millimeter 9 volt pedal power style power socket in the middle. Down at the bottom, nice big hard wearing foot switch for stomping the pedal in, engaging your fat octave sound and then disengaging it at a moment's notice. Let's hear it. Inside optimizer is two discrete signal paths and you can see them labeled in red here. On the left hand side we have the octave sound. This is one octave down from the note you are playing. Underneath that we have a multipole filter which allows us to dial in some different characteristics to the octave sound alone. On the right hand side we have the clean level, the direct bass level here and underneath that we have a tilting equaliser control there as well. So by blending between the two and then using the equaliser dials we can get something from a quite warm octave sound to something which is maybe a bit more digital, a bit more scooped, something great for creating some subby dub bass lines. Let's dial in some sounds. Let's have a listen to the octave sound on its own. I want to create a synth bass or bass pedal kind of tone. Now I'm absolutely certain that if you're trying to listen to that sound on a mobile device or laptop speakers, you're barely going to hear it. This is a sub frequency style octave divider. Now I'm going to add in some mids and if you haven't already switched to some decent earphones, I suggest you do it right away so we can actually hear what this pedal is doing. I'm going to go up to the 12 o'clock setting. Here we go. So a little bit more warmth, some upper mids coming in to the octave sound alone. Let's go, all the way around. So 
So this time we've got way more upper mids in there and a bit of grit in there. So when I start blending in the clean sound, we're gonna get a nice crossover between the two sounds. Let's do that. Back to 12 o'clock on the dials, I've left the sub sound with the mids in and I've left the 12 o'clock setting for the clean tone. I'm going to play the same thing again, I mean it just gives you an idea of what's going on with the pedal. Let's add a bit more top end in my clean sound, let's go around to say the 3 o'clock setting. little noodle there wasn't quite sure I was going with that just for comparison this is what my bass sounds like without the pedal engaged Let's see if we can get that to cut through a bit more with a rounded tone. I like that. It's got an old vintage sound. Let's see what happens if I set the controls at opposite ends of their scales. This is going to scoop out the mid-range and we have a bright, deep sound. And I'm going to lose some of that octave effect, but it's going to provide a bed to my bass sound. Now, of course, one disclaimer that is also marked in the manual as well is don't forget that this is an analog octave divider pedal. And if you are familiar with using multi effects units with octave effects on board, then you may find that they will track much lower. Some of them are polyphonic and you can even play two notes at the same time. But what you make up in accuracy, you lose in some of those lovely organic vintage tones. This analog sound coming from this pedal is really exciting and I definitely want to go out and use this at a gig because I think it would really fill in the sound and give you that lovely, lovely sort of pillowy low end. Some people think that maybe digital octave effects can sound a little bit too clean um, and I'm not going to use the word sterile because um, I don't necessarily agree with that. However, this one, I've just moved the controls kind of willy-nilly. I've not really dialed them in and sat there too long, but every single sound has been brilliant. So this one gets a thumbs up from me. I really like this. If you just keep an eye on how you're playing, keep playing cleanly, not too many buzzes and rattles, then you're going to find that this will keep up with you. Rounding up then, so the Aguilar Optimizer with this new facelift sounds great, nice and easy to use, metal casing, Solid inputs and outputs on the top of the pedal, which means you can get the pedals right together on your pedal board. That's a great idea, isn't it? No leads getting in the way on the left and right hand side. And a brand that you can trust. These things are practically bomb proof, aren't they? Okay, as usual, go ahead and check out the written review to accompany this video in Bass Gear magazine. And I'll be back again very, very soon with another pedal review. Thanks ever so much for watching. I've been Dan Veal, and you have been watching Bass Gear magazine. <laughs>